Hi everybody, I'm Ty Moser and this is the Mono Local Workshop. The other day I had a friend at work stop by my desk and ask me for some assistance in building a cable tray for a computer desk that he just put at his house. He really didn't want all of the cables showing and he wanted a nice neat way to, to really hide the cables but still be able to push the desk up against the wall. Now a few minutes later he sent over a pretty detailed drawing that's almost engineer quality. I was actually quite impressed. When I do get around to building my computer desk, I might have to do something similar to that. Uh, it, it's really nice and looks professional when you go and see a computer desk and there's not cables everywhere. So I'm going to post this video. Hopefully some of you will find it useful and maybe you'll build some, uh, some cable trays of your own. So this project is really going to consist of uh, ripping down some pine boards. I'm going to do pine because we're just going to paint it black to, to match the rest of his computer desk. Uh, we're going to do, I'm going to cut the slots with the dado, just the little slots that you put the trays in. Actually, I was going to do this project the other day, but I didn't have a 2 inch Fossner bit or a hole saw that was 2 inches. So I put it on hold and waited until I could get one of those. Um, I think I'm going to con put them together with biscuits. I don't think that's going to add a lot of strength, but it'll just kind of maybe make it a little bit easier. And I don't use my biscuits. I don't use my biscuit tool. I, what is that called? I don't know. Uh, I don't use it enough. Alright, so I picked through the lumber rack at Home Depot and uh, I just picked out these two pine boards. I picked them um, primarily because they didn't have a lot of knots. I didn't want to use the high-end uh, premium pine. Uh, if I'm going to do that, I might as well go with something like Poplar or something like that. Um, I mean, they're going to be painted, they're going to be inside all the time, so I didn't think the premium or the hardwood really was needed. Um, they're both uh, a little over 7 inches, so I mean, I'll get everything and I'll have a little bit left over. I'll have about 3 inches left over. I'll, we'll get started with that. So I made this simple jig uh, real quick to cut all the different grooves for the cables to go through. Uh, really, I just I kind of used some scrap lumber that I had laying around. I want every slot to be two inches apart. Uh, this little block here is a half of an inch. So from the end of this to the end of that should be two inches. Uh, that should give me 35 individual holes and 36 sections in between. And hopefully uh, after I go through the whole thing, uh, the ends are pretty well even. Uh, it's, they're probably not going to be because uh, after doing 30, 35 cuts uh, it's going to be, I mean even if it was a sixteenth or a thirty second of an inch off it's going to get there. I mean it might be a whole entire inch off by the time I get there. But it is just going to be going behind a computer desk so I'm not too worried. So my jig worked out pretty good, and apparently I can measure, um, it was a hair off, but it was probably less than an eighth of an inch off. I don't think anybody's going to notice. So now I'm going to just round over all these edges on the router table. I set up my router table with a quarter inch round over bit. Uh, I don't really need the fence here, I really, I'm just going to use it for dust collection. Now that all the cable slots are rounded over, I'm going to align everything and just mark where I'm going to put my biscuits. So now I'll take the clamps off and I will transfer the ones on the, so or on the bottom over to the sides and then I'll set up my biscuit joiner or biscuit cutter, whatever you want to call it. Now that everything is ready for assembly, I'll give everything just a nice quick sand with 220 and then I'll glue it up and I think I'll be good to go.
Everything's sanded down and almost ready for painting, but you know what? I forgot to do something. I forgot to put the holes in the bottom. I intended on doing that before I put the whole thing together. Uh, it, it, no problem. So the cable management tray has been completed. It really doesn't look like a lot when it's all by itself, but when you actually put it on the desk, I think it'll really clean it up and make the desk look a little more professional. Um, it's got all the different slots here, so you can, the cables will run through it, and it's got the holes on the bottom, so the cables can go down through them into a nice uniform fashion. It's basically gonna go onto the back of the computer desk like this. So you really won't see it, and then all the cables will just slip right into the slots, and I think it'll look really clean.